We are here today to talk about citizens and um, its assessment each year on policyholders, commercial as well as residential, in order to amortize the bonds that were necessary to finish paying the claims uh, incurred for Katrina damage on citizens insured properties in 2005. We had enough reinsurance in place and cash on hand that if we had only had only the second worst insured loss event in our state's history, Hurricane Rita, there would have been no assessment, no bond issue uh, necessary. Uh, but Katrina required a $1.2 billion bond issue, second largest one in the history of our state, in order to finish paying those claims. And at the end of each year, I remind homeowners that this money is available and waiting to be claimed. Right now, about 53 percent of the available money for 2009 remains unclaimed. Many homeowners simply don't know that they're eligible for these rebates, while others may not be aware of how simple the process is to claim the money that's owed to them. <clears throat> and it is indeed a simple process, and to date, some $200 million has been lost to policyholders who just did not take the time to either use it, as I do, as a dollar-for-dollar -dollar tax credit against their state tax liability, or do as my widowed mother does and fill out a one-page form with five questions, name, address, social security number, uh, policy number, and amount of assessment, mail it to the Department of Revenue, and two weeks later get back uh, the amount that was assessed on your policy, uh, all policies, renters' policies, commercial policies, mobile homes, and homeowners as well. So I use this opportunity here at the end of each year uh, to remind folks yet again that that money is out there waiting to be claimed. And, um, and on average, almost every year, if you look at the attached chart, just over 50 percent, 52, 53 percent, goes unclaimed and after four years reverts to the general fund uh, for the state of Louisiana. And as I mentioned earlier, so far for years 06, 07, and 08, uh, that total of money that was left unclaimed and then reverted to the state totals $200 million. In total, unclaimed money from the beginning of the assessments in 2006 is a half a billion, $500 million. Needless to say, that's money that many uh, of our citizens uh, could use. And frankly, I know they're just not aware of the availability of it, because every time the media helps us with this message uh, in the spring at tax time when I do this, and at the end of the year when another year is about to prescribe and be lost, I get stopped on the street every time and thanked for uh, having done these press availabilities and getting this message out. Additionally, um, we have other good news that I'll ask Mr. Thomas uh, to provide you more detail about, um, but it is incredible indeed. Um, I have long thought that 90,000 policies would be the floor, the absolute minimum number that uh, citizens would ultimately have on their book of business um, because there's always going to be a need for a market of last resort. And I point to the fact that there's a thousand citizens policies in the Shreveport area and another thousand in the Monroe area. Houses are structures that can't get insurance for one reason or another. They're located too far away from uh, fire protection. They have aluminum wiring that insurers are um, not willing to insure. And uh, therefore, the market of last resort is necessary to provide coverage uh, for such structures. Having said that, the most recent depopulation was our second biggest uh, success yet. And over 14,000 policies were removed, which brings us down to a total number of 93,000 policies. But 40,000 policies were asked for, and 14,000 were approved for removal. Uh, so there's another 25,000 out there that private companies wanted 
to take off the books and, and were not approved for removal. Uh, what's important to realize is that it's not just citizens policyholders who benefit from depopulation. All Louisiana policyholders, property owners, benefit from this reduction of citizens' policies as it reduces the need for future assessments being charged to property insurance consumers in the event of another Katrina level uh, event. And so uh, we certainly recognize that the, the, pol the citizens' policyholders, when they get their policies taken out from citizens, the market of last resort, which by law has to price their products above the private sector, they're saving money. But all the rest of us with insurance on property in the state, both commercial and residential, benefit from having our risk for future assessment reduced. And with that said, I would uh, ask that um, Mr. Thomas, our uh, relatively new six months, Dave, uh, CEO of Citizens, uh, to come and speak further about the depopulation uh, program, its success, and what it means for citizens. Dave. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, as the Commissioner said, this was a highly successful effort this year. Uh, the very first depopulation round occurred in 2008, and some 26, 27,000 policies were taken out. That was a little different. First of all, it was the first one, and second of all, there was financial incentive for companies to take out policies. But since that time, prior to this round, we'd never taken out more than 13,000 policies a year. And in fact, last December, we only took out about 6,800. So uh, the management group led by Vijay Ramachandran, our chief underwriting officer, put a full court press on this year to see what we could do differently to change the trajectory and get a larger number taken out. And it's quite a partnership effort. We had three carriers participate, Lighthouse Property, uh, Access Home Insurance, and Maison Insurance Company. And they all stepped up and requested, as the commissioner said, a total of 40,000 of our 105,000 policies. Said another way, they were willing to take those out of citizens. We then count on our next group of partners, and that's the some 1,700 some, uh, odd agents who put policies with citizens. They must approve that a policy that's been requested to be taken out actually be taken out. Last year, by way of comparison, only 22% of the policies that were requested to be taken out were approved by agents to be taken out. So a combination of uh, the three takeout companies, uh, VJ and his staff, put together a number of forums around the state, particularly the southern part of the state, over the last two or three months, so that agents could get to know these three takeout companies and have an opportunity to ask them questions about their products, their pricing, their financial stability, and as a result of that partnership of those three parties coming together, 35% of the policies requested this time were approved for takeout, which is a significant improvement over last December. Even probably more significant than the fact that 14,000 plus policies were taken out, just over half of those are wind-only policies. I think it probably goes without saying, in southern Louisiana, wind is the greatest exposure we have to loss. So to the extent that we have been able to dramatically reduce the wind exposure on citizens' books, that is not only good for policyholders of citizens, but as the commissioner said, all the policyholders in the state. In middle of 2012, we had 37,000 such wind-only policies. With this depopulation round, that number has now dropped below 24,000 and continues to drop. 
Uh, we're very appreciative of the three takeout companies. They, uh, they were very eager to take wind-only policies. Uh, I think they realized that uh, you know, our rates are up, therefore they can come in and charge a little less and still feel like they can make an underwriting profit off that business. But I really want to reach out and thank the agents, particularly the captive agents, the State Farm, All State Farm Bureau agents, because they really increased the number of policies that they authorized compared to prior years. At the end of the day, our market share of the homeowners business in the state of Louisiana, it will drop below 3%, approximately 2.7%. At its peak was nearly 10% in the two years following Katrina. So we are now estimated that we will be only the ninth largest property insurer in the state. Again, I think at the peak, we were the second or third largest property carrier in the state. So it's a, been quite an effort. Uh, we are going to, even though we conduct the population from August to December, it is really going to be a full-time job for us because we're even going to get out and talk to more agents so that they feel comfortable with these takeout carriers. Because right now, the best thing we can do to continue DPOP is to have agents embrace it and authorize more policies each year. I don't know what the ultimate floor is. There certainly is one. Uh, we debate this at the office. It's at 75,000, is 85,000, is it 90,000? There is some number below which we just will never drop below because we are a market of last resort. But we are doing everything we can throughout the entire year to continue to, to drive down toward that floor, whatever it is.